as I promised, there is some stuff that I want to talk about, okay? So, I did not expect this, but my stress got a whole lot worse than it used to be. So, yeah, I'm wearing my mask for the sake of my safety because I don't want to, like, deal with this type of shit anymore. And it's, like, starting to get really bad. But the moment I recognized a PFP for a new subscriber, somebody who is being a fake subscriber, I sent them the link and link in the staff chat saying hang one fuck up that was a dead giveaway was the pfp p and b was like oh that support is right ass and he took a screenshot of something that really caught my eye okay this right here that is dead that is dead ass proof of saying that he is cyber stalking me. And I don't do that shit. Like, I do not fuck around with situations. Like, I don't know why it just, like, excites me when I get evidence to, like, prove this type of shit, alright? So. Yeah, let's, like, look back at some memories that has happened from last year and why I have PTSD from those events. Alright, so, the first thing of evidence that I got was this bad boy right here. A comment saying, we warned you, Jason, now your channel is gone, unban us, and it will be returned to you. The wrath of Mouse Cop is upon you. The, on you. That was the first thing of evidence that I got from the Mouse Cop incident of 2022, and I made this meme. Justice for Crazy Ninja 51. Better yet, there's going to be, like, a new hashtag on Instagram and Twitter that we're going to, that I'm probably going to make. Justice for Crazy Fox Ninja 51. Or I could just do justice for, or I could just do the existing hashtag. So it can be like a 50-50, depending on how things go down. So, oh yeah, he tried to negotiate, but failed. Dude, okay, let's go back a bit for a few seconds. So yeah, Project Unknown was willing to take a bullet, okay? So yeah. 8-1-2022, what, what does that mean, though? Um, my guess is that he's supposedly gonna show up on that date. I'd worry, but not that much. Could be wrong, but hey, he wouldn't. He's just a bully. What could he do? The, like, the most that he did was hack and dox pe- Well, the most that he did was dox people, but I was a victim to being hacked. And the result from that was that my YouTube channel was terminated for two months at the time. And I'm not going to lie, that shit honestly sucked to experience. Like. Dude, this is everything that we needed to do, bro. Like, 
that he has no allies. He only has himself. That that bitch ain't gonna do shit. And of course, after this, there we go. And that mustache is censoring one up oh shit one thing, which is the city along with the state. As like, I don't mind if people know what state I live as long as they don't take advantage, but. The fact that he figured out what city I lived at was what gave me PTSD. Like, that was a dead sign of saying that I got docs. And before I continue the rest of the topic, I need to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. A few minutes later. Alright, back to business. Alright. Allow me to read this comment for those who wonders what's going on. And of course the user that sent this had had their username by Joel. Which is Hey crazy, it's Nuked Mexican Mexican. I saw you got into contact with Doc Doc though. I'm glad you'd and hopefully he explained a few things. I tried to get into contact with you as well as uh, but Thomas Mouse Cop was using my Discord and actually hacked my YouTube account, so I had to make a new new account, but I was able to log back into my Discord account after a couple of weeks. Please, can we talk, talk privately on Discord about this situation so I can help you guys with dealing with him? If you don't read this because you started to take a break, I really hope one of the members of the buddies can notify you and we can talk about this stuff. Thank you. That. And of course, something that I rightfully su suspected was that there was, like, alright, there's two videos that I'm going to have unmuted, but here's the thing, there was three, the fact that I was, that there, they tried to lay a low profile from when I gave them a chance but failed, the thing I suspected was that that mouse cop pre was pretending to be four different people when he knows he's one. And something that Rose and I remembered was that but from when he was in my server, he tried to make, make me, he tried to let me to allow him to say the N word, which that is, cons which, and I remembered that he was white, so. It's confirmed in part three that he was racist, which we will prove that later on in this video. So, yeah, comparing this shit to what we have right now. Alright, let's turn this bitch up, shall we? You are a very, very persistent criminal. Very persistent. I don't like it. Mouse cop. I know you're watching this. But fuck you. Alright. Mouse cop has been threatening Crazy Ninja, which I was known as Crazy Ninja 51 at the time this incident was a thing. And Crazy Ninja, for about three months now, got his channel deleted and is back to continue what he started. He found out personal info information on two people close to crazy so far and it's actually really fucking scary to know that this guy can just casually say where you live like it's no big deal fuck you stop your fucking antics if you come across him please block report and ban him thank you leave us alone to major point you will have your goal in mind, if you can tell. I'm just gonna say this right now. Fuck you. Whatever your goal is, it's not going to work. We will figure it out, and we will find it and stop you. Leave crazy alone, 
leave us alone and fuck off. Exactly. To everyone watching this video, if you see someone with this profile picture calls themselves Mouse Cop, please ban them immediately. Block them immediately. He is a threat to everyone. Threatening people online. Come on. You're a bastard and you, and you know that. No one likes you. You probably don't even have friends. So Mouse Cop, if you're reading this, fuck you. Hey, that was me that we got this time. Because I gave the fingers as I was reacting to this. So yeah, look at that. Okay, friends. Oh, so this is- Oh, this is the- There's this fucker who's messing- I don't- I've already shown that shit. Oh, we can just show that on my side, alright? And here's the thing. I know what state he lives in. He lives- he lives in Colorado, so unless you live there, I wouldn't be worried. <laughs> Wait, bruh. I don't live at Colorado. Like, I literally said, as long as people don't take advantage on the information on the fact that I live in Florida, I do not mind them knowing I live in Florida. Just like how I don't mind if you know my first name, which is Jason, as long as you don't take advantage of it. So, yeah. Only those who I trust, even my family members, may know my last name. Like, I don't do that shit. And from when I first got my identity card, I censored everything that was personal. Because it had my old address, my S, and I was right about being 5'6 at the time I got it. Because I was 5'7 from when I was 18, and I'm currently 5'8 right now. <laughs> Censored Ab, nice neighborhood around here. Since you came back, I figured I might as well too. This man needs to. We need a Phantom Thieves IRL for this man is motherfucking crazy. Look at this. Zuber, you really messed up. Up, oh, dude, fuck off. Leave me al alone already and let me live my life. You should have never left my side. Instead, you betray me to join the Make a Wish kids. It's which I roasted him. I roasted Mouse Cop for saying that. Which he is the Make a Wish kid at this p point. Like I compared the idea of Molly's Make a Wish kid incident of 2020, and roasted him with that. So yeah, it was the most savage thing I can think of against a hacker, to be honest. I didn't betray you. Th grew ooh, a conscience. Crazy and everyone deserves better than that. You know, I have something interesting to show you. And this man talks to himself! <laughs> or he could have just... Like, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? There's more to come. You're a fu f fucking psychopath. What? What is your problem? And... It and I said, his problem is that he is a psychopath that needs to be stopped. And, and, and here's the thing. I blocked this account. He was pissed, bro. Why did you let Jason do this to me? Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Why are you doing this to me? And let's just say that the censored thing is the address of Project Unknown. So I... But I ain't gonna throw him under the bus like that. I would never dox anybody. Because I know that it would probably get me cancelled if I was to do that. So, yeah. But if it's like a public place, 
I'm sure that they wouldn't have a problem with it, but if it's a studio, I'm keeping it private between myself. I'm keeping it private. Nobody needs to know that shit. Oh, and since you can't access your main account, how do you know my main account? It's easy. That... And I actually took a screenshot of his Discord so that people know. And I, and on my old Twitter account, I notified Discord and YouTube about it. And YouTube was like, hey man, I'm sorry that this happened to you. We're gonna ask you for, for the URL to your channel and the, and what email you use for it so that we can fix the issue. And it took them two months. To fix it. And. It was. Comforting to know. That. It actually. That they actually like. Did it because at the time. That it was happening. YouTube was having their own issues. Like Corey Kenshin. DA Games. Jack Setsukai. Cub Scouts. Penguins, aka Moist Critical, who, like, talked about the situation, but Corey called their ass out for being racist and playing favorites at the time, because they were being racist towards black people at the time. So, yeah. But look at this. I'm grateful they heeded my warnings and removed you from their Discord servers. I told them you were not to be trusted and on. Predictable. Thankfully, they listened and expelled you. I know exactly who it was. So, yeah. And the names are censored. Censored. I remember something. Before Hacker Boy was banned, he was trying to get you to let him use the N-word and kept calling you Massa, which I think is related to slavery. But you said he was white, so he's probably racist. Yup. Claiming to be black when he's not. Yup, he is. That, I told you guys that I will prove it that he was a racist. That he is a racist hacker. Alright. Noun, offensive. Alright, Massa. Master, formerly used in presentations of the speech of slaves in the US. That is really fucked up right there like we do not do that shit bro But we're not going to watch the rest of the video because the rest of the video, favoritism, gaslighting of favoritism, way too far for one situation. That video, the rest of that video was just me going on a rant on how I felt about being wrongfully banned. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to say the names like the, the streamers that wrongfully banned me was Spooky Rose or... Aura Oddity, Pegasus Witch, Scully Bear, PTIST, Maddie the Maid, Leon Astriel, Icon Alpha, Our Candy, and Deuces Deuce Dusk. Like, I'm still pissed off on how they wrongfully banned me. And they're gonna have to earn their chance. And they're gonna have to earn their round two for wrongfully banning me. And the rest of the video, I went on a rant on how I felt about it. And I had a feeling it was favoritism at the time. But thinking about it now, like, and I knew I was wrongfully banned, but I had a strong feeling there was favoritism involved at the time. So. Suspicious. Hey, bro, I just saw your recent vid. Why are you accusing me and my fr friends of being mouse cop? We've really been... We've been li literally laying low because we don't want to get doxxed again. You're only around when Mouse Cop is around. CWK got doxxed. You're, 
Makes zero sense. We told you we are to stop Mouse Cop, so it makes sense that we show up when he does something bad. Because we want him to stop. I'm not going to try to convince you, man. Believe what you want. Me and my... Me and my friends will try to stop Mouse Cop with or without you guys. That... That was pretty suspicious, and I banned those accounts for being suspicious, which was smart of me. And it was the same thing for the buddies clip. Alright, give it give it some time to load because currently inter internet speed is being shit. Alright. Alright. So ignore the fact that the watermark is in the way. So yeah. And this was the final thing that Dark Octo said, which I had a feeling that, that it was somebody that Mouse Cup was trying to, like, do, like, pretend to be, and, like, he has, like, different identities. I'm going to keep it 100% with y'all. I've been trying my best with my friends to prevent Mouse Cup from doxing or harming others again, especially since CWK got doxed, and I worry for him and his family, but... But in the recent video, we are again accused of being Mouse Cop. So I told Crazy that I'll leave leave and take down Mouse Cop on my own. We recently found Mouse Cop's franchise employment, so we have to narrow down which one is in his state, Colorado. It's sad to see Mouse Cop winning by putting distance between us all. In the end, I will not be accused of being a dirty hacker when I've always done what I can and then taking time out of my day to help others behind the scenes. Thank y'all for listening and hear me out. That was pretty suspicious. So. So yeah. But this was the thing that fuck that he fucked up on. Because the account says his real name. And it has his icon, bro. And it reads, I'm glad you got rid of those three loose ends. I went ahead and doxed them after you left them, just like the Discord server left you after I told them who you were, we were, were. And the, and I was suspicious of the fact that, and from when I saw that shit, I was rightfully suspicious of project unknown at the time because I had a feeling that he was with him all right dark octo so yeah dark octo changed his name to sicker octo he fucked up CWK tried to do America couldn't fucked up nuked Mexican tried to do the Mexican fucked up And this was the first sign of saying that I was getting harassed. Hello, Jason. Long time no see. That was a huge sign of saying harassment right there. And look, and there is an account named Pop Tart Man that that fucked up. So yeah, okay. August first, August first, twenty twenty three. That shit happened. So yeah, and the three things that caught my attention was the name from and fun fact. Which the fun fact was, I'm closer than you think. The name was introduced as Thomas Baller, and the from was Colorado. But, but everything else I didn't care about. But, uh, the fact, but something I remember was that it said that his age was 23. So, he's a, so the best way I can describe him is that he's a racist guy from Colorado who's in his 20s who is a hacker slash doxer. That is... 
some convincing stuff that I can think of on how to describe them. Alright, look at this. Pop Tart Man Hashtag 1528. He had deleted his account from my band. And um, alright, give it time to load. Mmm! Alright, so. That day, I wanted you guys to get that in mind because it's to. Because this account was created the day the Pop Tart Man got uh, banned from my server and it. It was September 5th at the time it happened, so... Hurrah. Oh, it was some fucked up shit. Alright. Top to bottom, let's read. Jason, why would you go on banning my associates? It's... And I called them out for... Breaking rule. And I told them that why I banned him was because he was breaking server rules. We only contain one offer left for transitions you have put us through. We we will give your channel back and even get more people to subscribe to you and so you may flourish. All we want is to be admin in your server with no restrictions. That that comment alone was a sign of saying that he tried to attempt to commit extortion. Wait, no, that shit is extortion, because he tried to ad I to convince me to make him admin for the shit he did, which I'm not doing that. All we want is to- oh, wait, I already read that. You may make only one of us admin, and must be Mouse Cop will not be haggled anymore. All, all or nothing, your decision, your move. There, there is still restrictions, and that's a- and that's abuse of power. So yeah, if you were to be a moderator, but just to break rules, then that is abuse of power. And that can result, and I speak from experience, there can be consequences. Like you can either get moderator taken away or worse, you can get banned because, and the ban case, I speak from experience on that. I made that mistake once with Witchy Souls 33 because I unintentionally got cocky without realizing it. And I didn't know I was until I was told about it. And from when I read the, read the message that I was banned, I learned my lesson and moved on. So that's something good. I was uh, like, I'm one of those people that's like, as long as I know what I did wrong, I... I know that I'm wrong, and I learned my lesson from what I did, so, yeah. So, and after I told him what, told him that I banned him for breaking rules again, this, I get this. It's funny, I just checked your Twitter, Doc, Mark Octal actually begged us not to harm you, he was a true fan, he... We kicked him permanently from our group. Now he has no one. That, that he's he doesn't have a group. He's just a solo guy who is a fucking psychopath. Like again, we need the Phantom Thieves IRL for this man is crazy and needs to be stopped. Like if he can, like if he goes any further and makes this situation worse, I am getting the cops involved in this situation. Like, I told Will Huddle about the situation because he's in the military. So, yeah, if he ends up needing details, I got you, brother. Mouse Cop don't knew those three people you outed on Twitter. Mouse Cop paid them on... I hope they get their lives ruined. They were weak. Do you want to know the truth, Jason? I hacked their accounts and used them. It has all always been me. Yeah. Man, that is dead. That is some solid proof of him say, Like, that was solid proof saying that he is solo in this situation. And I, oh, I remember this. Let's just say it involves my sword. Oh, was it a Karen? Interesting. Can I have my rolls back?
Back before I do, are you working for Mouse Cop? This comment is why I suspect it, and it was a smart move of me to show him that comment. He said, "Hell no." He said, "Hell no," and, and he actually had a good point, saying, "How could he assist somebody while he's in jail? Because he was in jail at the time." And this was the first ever venting thing that I get from my server, which. On, which, let's be honest, that venting is enough evidence to prove Project Unknown's innocence from when I suspected it. Which, So, allow me to read it to you guys. I was in jail for two and a half months because of my father. Before I got, before I got out, he died on the 4th of September at 3.14pm right after I talked to my grandmother when I was in jail. I've been having the shittiest of luck. Every day I talk to my sister and always ends up as an argument towards the end. And I'm pretty sure that's just family stuff right there. I I always always get my ass chewed chewed because of it, but my sister doesn't. Bro, let's be honest. If I was the parent, both and if you were to have an argument with the sibling, both you and your sibling would have equal blame for what you did. Because I don't do that shit. Like, if if I know what they did wrong, like, I would not hesitate to let them know what they did wrong. You don't need to see that. You realize how long I was in your server for, right? And how many accounts I've left in there? You even let Grimjus come back, lied, and you believed his sob story? That- Or- Bro. This man needs to stop harassing us. Like, he's- Like, he is mainly harassing me, and it's getting on my nerves on- Like, I am like a mixture of angry and scared on how- this situation is going down. And also, I gave the warning to the buddies club at the time it, this happens. So, allow me to read this to you. This is a warning for those who see this. If, if you see the... If you see this PFP named... And, and somebody named Mouse Cop block, report, and ban him and because he is a, a hacker slash doxer who is a threat to everyone and lies about his victims. I have a feeling he is mainly after me, but the warning is there for in case if I get into a situation. That was really smart of me to do. And I explained how I felt about it. Because I didn't want to deal with this shit. Alright. And there's one more thing I would like to show you guys. I've posted this on Instagram and Twitter to let people know, know about the situation. So yeah. And of course, I wanted to do this just to make it look convincing. Like, it would honestly look better if I, like, did this like the, like an old faction way with the wanted poster, but it is what it is at the end of the day. For context, Thomas Baller, aka Mouse Cop, was responsible for hacking my YouTube channel, and I have PTSD from when I got doxxed. Now he's back to cyberstalk me and harass me after I exposed him. He lies about his victims, and there are some chats I was wrongfully banned in, and in. I'm at the edge on getting the cops involved if the, in this situation. Do not hesitate to spread the word if, word if you want to help spread the word. Anything you can do to help can save my life, and I don't want to be in, in any more danger. So, there you have it.
comparing the old evidence that we have for, as well as the new stuff that we got like in in the description in one of the videos I do remember that one of them had the crimes that he Yeah, there we go. Like, I had a few. And of course, like, one of the things I know about blackmail is that it is... Alright, let's, like, search up some... Let's, like, search up what blackmail is. Exploitation, I know what it is. It's using somebody. C cyber stalking, that... Like, we already got that. Hacking, hacking and doxing, don't... Those two things are bad by itself. Those two things were bad enough by itself. Alright. Blackmail. The action treated as criminal offense of de-imitating payment or another benefit of someone in return and not revealing compromising or damaging information about them. So yeah. The damaging information... So yeah. The damaging information part it was what made it blackmail. And a thing I find damaging is false information about me. So, yeah. Like, if I had a spy who was willing to, like, confront this person, like... For example... Like, for example, like... ADP 445 got caught being a predator again, and Jadian caught him. I don't know the guy's name, but I know that he, like, hunts down predators, but he's, like, collaboratively working with authorities to get him, to, like, get him in jail. So, yeah. So, yeah. And here's what Google says about it. Blackmail is an act of caution using using the threat of revealing or publicizing either substantially true or false information about a person or people unless certain demands are met. It is often in damaging information and it may be revealed to family members or associates rather rather to the general public. So yeah. So yeah, cyber stuff. And from what I looked up, if cyber stalking is illegal, I know it's illegal. Alright. <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's look up exploitation. Alright. Alright. Exploitation. The action or fact of reading someone unfairly in order to benefit from their work. That is. Like, that shit's kind of fucked up. Alright. Yeah, I I know what aggravated assault is. It's basically assault with a... Say, like... If you're armed with something, but... Use it in a hurtful way, that's aggravated assault. So, yeah. Uh, but I don't have a complete understanding of extortion yet, so let's figure this out together, shall we? Alright. 
The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. No, no money was involved, but there was threats in there. Extortion is the practice of obtaining benefit through coercion. In, in jurisdictions, it is likely to induce a criminal offense. The bulk is act article deals with such cases. I'm going to look up portion for those who doesn't know so I can read it to you guys. Alright. So, the dictionary says the practice of persuasion in someone to do something by using force or threats. Coercion involves co compelling a party to act in an involuntary manner by either th by the use of threats including threats to use force against that party that in and involves a set of forceful actions which violate the free will of an individual in order to include a desired response so yeah that the fact so yeah we're gonna throw caution in the crime that he's committed so and i'm pretty sure that he he forced those streamers that I called out for wrongfully banning me to, me to do the thing, you know? So, yeah. He is pretty much done for at this point compared to every piece of evidence that I currently have. And of course, I obviously know what doxing is. It's basically leaking personal information privately to the person. Cyber stalking is when someone uses electronic communication, social media, and other technology to commit crimes. It is it is defined as use of email, direct messaging, or other electronic means to harass, scare, or threaten someone with physical harm. Like... And the thing that makes it cyber stalking is the harassment that I am getting from Mouse Cop right now, and I am scared for my life. <laughs> and aggravated assault. In, in Florida, aggravated assault is a third degree felony with a potential of up to five years in prison or five years in probation and a five thousand dollar fine the offensive is harshly persuasive throughout the state and even first-time offenders will face a realistic poss possibility of prison yeah that is something that we don't do like a security hacker is someone who explores methods for breaching defenses and exploiting weaknesses in a computer system or network. That, that happened with my YouTube channel last year, for those who remember that, and that shit sucked. The gaining of unauthorized access to data in a system or computer. And last thing, we're going to look up the meaning of doxing. Search for and publish private or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet, typical with ma malicious intent. Doxing is an act of public providing personal identification information sorry if I butcher that word about an individual or, or, or an organization usually via the internet like hacking and doxing is getting hacked or doxed is the two things that a content creator should always fear it doesn't matter if you do face cams or if you're a PNG tuber VTuber GIF tuber or if you do no cams 
cams. You gotta watch out for that shit, no matter how big or small you are. Alright. So. And for those who doesn't have an understanding of what harassment is, allow me to give you guys an explanation. Alright. Aggressive pr pressure or indemnation. That's it. Harassment covers a wide range of behaviors or offensive nature. It is commonly understood as behavior that intimidates and intimidates a person and it is characteristically identified by its unlike unlikelihood it and I'm sorry again, I'm sorry if I butchered that word. In terms of social media and more or reasonable so yeah here we are so yeah, comparing the so, yeah though that is all that we need like and it, and the rest of this video was like supposed to like to be was like supposed to be me comparing the evidence that I have so yeah I'm going to explain the will a few moments later will Alright, so I wanted to take this quick pause to let people know, to let Will know the reason on why I was hacked in docs. So, why I was at the time was because Mouse Cop was a psychopath that took it way too far on trying to get revenge on me. So, yeah. Anyways, nonetheless... Less, I'm sorry for those who ended up getting triggered on this topic. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all that I have to cover out. Cover. So I hope you guys stay safe. And there's an icon. And the icon that is in the thumbnail on the wanted poster. Keep an eye on that because. And if you see him, and if you see that, and the name Black Report and ban him as soon as possible. So, yeah, peace out.